Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Time for another round of Bible trivia. Before we get too far into the, the Bible questions, got to ask you a question. Another Laffy Taffy joke. Do you know uh, what's really odd? Numbers not divisible by two. <laughs> oh, man. I'll tell you what, Laffy Taffy jokes are the worst. All right. Here we go. Ten questions um, worth a point apiece, and then two bonus questions worth three points apiece. Bonus questions are optional. Unless this is the first time you're clicking on this video, you know that because I've said these rules for I don't know however many times this is, 160-something odd times. All right. Let's get into the Bible trivia. Number one, what did Samson do to the Philistines in retaliation for his wife's father giving the girl to another? Was uh, to curse them, burn their field, or tried to have them imprisoned? Judges 15 verses 1 through 5, of course, tells us that he burned their field. Number two, what did the Philistines do in response to Samson's burning the fields? Killed Samson's brother? killed Samson's father, or killed Samson's wife? Judges 15, verse 6. Well, we know that it's killed something, don't we? It's killed Samson's wife. Number three, after attacking the Philistines, where did Samson go to live? Was it Ashkelon, Zor Caves, or Cleft in the Rock of Etam? Judges 15, verse number 8, tells us that it was the cleft in the rock of Etam, maybe Etam, spelled E-T-A-M. Anyway, number 4, the Philistines came to Judah asking the Israelites to do what to Samson? Bind him, take him to prison, or blind him? Judges 15, verse number 10, tells us the answer is to bind him. Number five, how many men of Judah went to find Samson in the cleft of the rock? Was it 1,000, 2,000, or 3,000? Judges 15, 11 tells us the answer was 3,000 men. Here's your bonus question. What did Samson ask them not to do? What did Samson ask them not to do? Judges 15, verse number 12, tells us the answer, kill him. So he didn't, want to, he didn't want to be killed. All right, here's your next set of questions. When Samson visited Gaza, what did he do there? Called on his family? Called on, uh, called on a harlot? Or called on the leaders? Judges 16, verse 1, tells us that he called on a harlot. Number two, while Samson was with the harlot, what were the people of Gaza doing? Sleeping, gathering to worship, or plotting to kill him? Judges 16, verse number two, tells us that the answer is they were plotting to kill him. Number three, when Samson pulled up the doors of the city gate, where did he carry them? Was it to a mountaintop, to the sea, or to the desert? Judges 16, verse number 3, tells us that it was to a mountaintop. Number 4, who did Samson fall in love with who lived in the valley of Sarek? Was it Deborah, Delilah, or Dina? Judges 16, verse 4, tells us that it was the infamous Delilah. Number 5, who approached Delilah about enticing Samson to reveal the source of his great strength? Was it religious leaders, Philistine women, or lords of the Philistines? Judges 16, verse number 5, tells us that it was the lords of the Philistines. Here's your bonus question. How much was she offered to betray Samson? How much was she offered to betray Samson? The answer is found in Judges 16, verse number 5. And the answer is 1,100 pieces of silver from each of the Lords. All right. I hope you did well. Hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Um, I don't know about where you're at, but man, we sure could use some rain. So hopefully you, if you've been without rain for a long time, maybe we can get some. We have a little bit in our forecast this weekend, and I sure am hoping that uh, it happens.